Does your face need a primer? I know mine does. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to my channel. First of all, let me say Happy Easter to all of you who celebrate the Easter holiday. And I have a beautiful Easter poem for you in my Inside Beauty tip today. Well, in today's YouTube shorty video, I want to talk about face primers. Do you need a face primer? Some people do and some people don't. Some people really enjoy them and they wouldn't go without them and other people feel they have no need for one at all. Now I know there are several different types of primers that serve different purposes. Those of you who like to wear foundation and you might need to have it on all day long and stay in place, you may like a gripping primer. I've heard about them, I don't own one, but they say it helps the makeup adhere to your face. Well, I have no use for that since I don't like foundation. They have glowy primers, pore filling primers, just a variety of different ones. Now for me, I don't wear foundation, I wear tinted sunscreen, but I do have texture on my face and a good bit of texture and deep wrinkles. So I like to wear a primer. I think it smooths out my skin and just gives it a better appearance. So I do wear a primer with my sunscreen. Now you can also wear two different, totally different types of primers. Say you want more of a mattifying, pore filling primer for the center of your face or maybe just for your nose. You could wear a pore filling primer, but yet you want to glow on the rest of your face so you could wear a different primer that kind of offers a glow to the outer part of your face. I just stick to one and I'm going to tell you my two favorite primers. So just to tell you what I mean by like a glowy primer, this is the e.l.f. Glow Up Primer. And let me show you what it looks like. This comes in a dropper. So I've got it here on my hand. And as I rub it in, I hope you can see there's a sheen. It gives you a glow, which is really pretty. That would be pretty on the perimeter of the face. But for me, I have two favorites. I've already talked about this one on my channel. It's the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. It's a pretty small jar. I thought it would be bigger than that. But it's kind of a creamy texture. I'll put some on the end of my hand so you can see. That's what it looks like. And what you can do is just rub it between your fingers and then press it in to any areas that you want to kind of fill in. So this one is very nice. I'm completely satisfied with it and I use this every day. The other one I use every day is this Maybelline Face Studio Blurring Stick. I really love this one. It says it is a poreless primer. Now this is in a stick. You just roll it up. It's white. And then you can just rub it on your face where you want. And you don't like spread these kind out. You just kind of tap them in place. So say you have some pores on your nose that you're not crazy about. And you would like them to look a little less noticeable. You would just press this on like this. Or you could, you know, put it on your finger. And you just press it in. That's all you do. 
And that's where I like to wear mine, right around my nose. The other thing that I've been using this for and it's really helping are lip lines right around here. You know, when you get more mature, my age, you get lip lines, but I mean, they go from your lip clear up to your nose. They're not just right around your lip or here and they run down on your chin. Well, I like to wear lipstick or lip gloss, things like that, and it will settle in those lines because those lines are deep and they're right at the lip. I mean, right at the lip and even maybe up onto the lip just a little bit. And then that lipstick will settle in those lines around here and sometimes it will creep down the line a little bit. So what I've been doing is taking this and I run it along my lower lip and above my upper lip and then I just press it in and just press it into those lines. Then I wait a minute and I put my lipstick on and it keeps it on my lips. It doesn't spread down into those lines because the lines are filled in with this primer. And this primer is, uh, let me take a little piece off. It's on, I put some on the tip of this nail. So as you can see, it's kind of thick like this. And then I'm just going to press it in that finger so you can see. So here I thought, well, this is something great for around the nose. Well, hey, I never knew I could use it around my lips and it would do such a great job. This is just a little demonstration. I have it on my left knuckle. If you can see that on my thumb, can you tell the difference between the two thumbs how the primer put in the creases of my knuckle on my thumb has softened it. The creases aren't as pronounced, and that's what it does for my face as well. So I wanted to share that with you all in case you have that problem of deep lip lines and then your lipstick running into those lines. You might want to give this a try. It may work for you just like it does for me. I sure hope it would. So I will list these two primers that I talked about in the description box. I got them both from Amazon. If you want to look them up and just read about them, find out about them, more information, then you can do that. But as I said in the beginning of the video, not everybody needs a primer, not everybody likes a primer, not everybody has the same wrinkles. Some people that are my age don't have deep wrinkle lines around the lips like I do, but if you fall into that category, I think this would work for you. Well, that's all I had to share with you today, but now I want to leave you with an inside beauty tip. For my inside beauty tip, I have a beautiful Easter poem, and it's written by Helen Steiner Rice. It's called The Glorious Easter Story. In the glorious Easter story, a troubled world we find, blessed reassurance and enduring peace of mind. For though we grow discouraged in this world we're living in, there is comfort just in knowing God has triumphed over sin. For our Savior's resurrection was God's way of telling men that in Christ we are eternal and in Him we live again. And to know life is unending and God's love is endless too makes our daily tasks and burdens so much easier to do. For the blessed Easter story of Christ the living Lord makes our earthly sorrows nothing when compared with this 
reward. This is the true meaning of Easter, that Christ died for our sins and rose again to live forever in heaven at the right hand of our Father and to offer us all eternal life. My goodness. In a fallen world where we go through heartache, pain, illness, disease, so many unfortunate circumstances that we're all going to go through, Throughout our life's journey, there will be many. And as we continue to age, they will get harder. But just knowing that we will have eternal life in heaven with Christ. What a reward that is. It's worth the reward. Just like the poem said, no matter what the sorrows are, they don't compare with the reward that is awaiting each and every one of us. I wish you all a very happy Easter, and I thank you so much for being here today. Well, until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!